the story of how a song begins, uh, for me, I've learned to um, react to whatever cool idea has me kind of fascinated. Or, you know, like when a caveman sees fire and they, they stop for a second. Like if, if there's a riff or something that starts from a musical side of things, um, I find a way to capture it. You know, there's no excuses now to not have a way to just catch, catch it on your iPhone or, or something so you can remember it. Um, and, and I start from that place. It might start from a groove type of place. And that maybe I first take that to uh, a drum loop and I have a bass line, something that's very rhythm oriented. And I let, I let the thing that I liked about that, I let that, you know, excite me and I stay in that world as long as I can. And then I see where it wants to go next. If, it, if an idea grabs me from the lyrical side, if there's a, a turn of phrase or something that someone says in a conversation, um, I catch it and I'll write it down. I might add a little, you know, in the note section on, on my phone. Um, and I'll work from that place. And I'll, I'll kind of force myself to work with just, you know, pen and paper or laptop. And I'll just work with words and work with rhymes and explore that and do a lot of stream of consciousness writing and just stay in that mode for a little while. Um, if something happens from a melodic side, sometimes when I'm driving in LA, I got plenty of time to like, after I've listened to every audio book and every song I can, I get bored and just I'll hum something. And if I have just a melodic riff, um, a melody can in and of itself captivate you. You know, it can make you think, oh, there's something there. And I'll live with that. And I'll, the key here is that on a good day, I circle back and I find those little, those beginning pieces and I, I make sure that they get to completion. And, and I, as long as I'm finishing songs, if I was just, instead of a songwriter, if I, if I was called a song finisher, I would feel like, it feels so good. You, you, feel, you actually feel the end of your work day as a songwriter, which is hard for us to do because there's no off switch usually, when you finish a song. And I would say my advice to anyone, myself included, is to just... Um, know what your recipe is to take it from, oh, that's cool, to, ah, it's done. And as long as you're getting a song done, then you can decide whether you think it's amazing or it's not as cool as you thought it would be. But I have so many other scraps of pieces of songs that stayed in limbo because I didn't quite know what to do with them next. And so now I'm, I'm trying to divide between, is this more of a melodic idea? Is this more of a lyrical idea? Is this more of a groove and just sort of a chord progression? Um, and stick with that for a little while so that I don't get too distracted. Because if I have a lyrical idea and I pick up the guitar too soon, I might get into noodling and kind of laying back on my habits, and then all of a sudden I kind of get hungry and I go off and get distracted and stuff. So I, I would say that's something that's current for me, is like sticking with that thing. Maybe it's the thing that you're, you, you least look forward to in the songwriting process. Get it over with as soon as possible, whether it's writing a cool lyric or like figuring out how the melody wants to really be perfect and just just nail it so that you can get it as close to done as possible and then and then it just feels it's the best feeling in the world